we have stem sizes from 4.5 all the way to 9.5 millimeters. They come in standard plus two and plus four lengths. In addition, we have radial head implants varying in size from 18 up to 28 millimeters. Again, coming in standard plus two and plus four lengths. We also have, of course, the appropriate instruments to prepare uh, the patient for surgery. We have a starter awl and awls ranging from 4.5 to 10.5 millimeters in diameter. This is, of course, uh, important because uh, uh, typically if we rasp to an 8.5 millimeter, we'll use a 7.5 millimeter stem, typically downsizing one millimeter over the size of the stem that we're using. These are uh, a quick couple uh, rasps. We have two quick couples available so that it's very uh, efficient uh, while the rasping is done. We also have a uh, so-called calcar reamer, so once the rasp is in place, the neck planer slips over the rasp and can harass the radial neck. In order to uh, insert the trial uh, implants, we have a stem holder, which uh, securely grasps the stem, and we have a head holder for the trials. So these uh, simply screw into the heads and then the stem is put into the patient. The head slides over and then by turning them 90 degrees, there's some ball plungers which uh, hold the implants together during the trial reduction. Once the appropriate implants are selected, the definitive implants are placed. In most cases, the implants are placed with so-called back table assembly. Here what we do is we uh, use the table assembly fixture, uh, which basically sits on to the OR table. Then we use our definitive radial head implant, place it into the appropriate size of the dish, take our definitive stem, not the trial of course as I'm showing you here, and then we use our stem impactor which slips over the stem and then allows us to impact the stem into the head. It's a Morris taper. It's important that this is done carefully and securely to prevent dissociation of the implant. The other alternative is to assemble the radial head implant in situ. And for this, you need the in situ locker, which is in a separate tray for the system. It is very uncommon that the in situ locker is required. It's typically required in a patient uh, that has had previous surgery on the elbow. There's significant stiffness such that the radial neck cannot be delivered laterally to insert a monoblock implant. In those cases, what we like to do is insert the stem first, then we insert the head, and then we couple it in situ with an in situ locker. So these are the Evolve ProLine locker instruments. These are in a separate tray from the standard system since it is uncommonly required. Uh, this is used in an elbow which is very tight where the radial neck cannot be delivered laterally in order to put in a monoblock implant. Here you want to put the radial stem in first, then the head and couple it in situ. Essentially this is put, put together on the back table very quickly. And what this does is essentially provide a very effective way to compress the Morse taper uh, together in situ. So for this we have to use head paddles and stem paddles. So once the size of the implant is selected, so let's say for example we're going to use a, a 22 millimeter uh, radial head implant, we would use the 22 millimeter head paddle. This simply slides on to the locker like this and then we choose the size of stem we're going to use let's say in this example a 6.5 millimeter and so that simply goes on to the locker this way what we can do now is slide this locker into the elbow over the stem and head tighten it and then by squeezing the handles 
that compresses the Morse taper. So for this example here, you can see the locker would then be slid over the implant uh, in the patient. This large bolt is tightened to compress and then by squeezing the handles we apply a large load to the Morris taper to ensure dissociation of the implant does not occur. This is uh, very effective. It's been shown to apply more than 1,000 newtons of compressive force which will prevent the implant from dissociating. It is not satisfactory or sufficient to simply tap the radial head onto the radial neck.